Aloha! This is Dr. Tiki, writing a prescription for tiki drinks, tattoos, and tech. What could be more fun? It's time for another Strange Love Live. This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to After Hours. I'm still Cami Chaos and I'm still joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. And this is After Hours with the RPDX Network. We have more authors. We only talked to five, I think five, during during the Tech Edition. I could count that because it's one hand. Uh, And now we're going to talk to a whole bunch more in force. First, we're joined by Morgan PDX. Yay, baby. Yay. And PDX Advice Guy, what are you on Twitter? Um, many, many things. Actually, I have PDX Advice Guy, and I have Endless Monkeys for my boring, non-advice-related junk. For your, so if it's not advice, it's boring? I don't live a very exciting life. I'm, I'm a married guy, two kids. I don't live a very exciting life either, but I tweet about it anyway. But you're on the interwebs. <laughs> Of course, I have my deviant advice site too. So if you want really bad advice, there's always that one. So what do you? You are the PDX advice guy. Self-explanatory. Morgan, what do you write about on our PDX? Um, I mostly write about uh, dogs in Portland. Dogs and Portland. Dogs in Portland. Dogs around Portland. Mm-hmm. Just mm. <laughs> dogs. You go hockey. Portland and <laughs> germs. <laughs> and what? And germs, yes. Oh, and germs. And, um, and slugs, but that's um, not on RPDX. Slugs, no. So where can we find each of you off of RPDX? I'm on uh, www.morganpdx.com. www.morganpdx.com. Do you need the www? Mm, yeah, for okay. now. Okay. It makes it stylish. Currently you do, and where I'm else can we find you? I am also at endlessmonkeys.com, mm-hmm. and I also have deviantadvice.com, which Deviant is my advice. big one. Yeah. Okay. I just have to say, I'm trying to avoid Aaron Hockley getting a serious picture of me. So, so if the I whole make video funny faces, is riddled with funny faces. Or, you know, start twitching, it's because he's trying to catch me and, and it's just a thing. <laughs> Mark is also a DJ. Yes, exactly. Nice. I was going to say, I was going to be, what else should we talk about? She also plays the bass. Yes, I do. <laughs> I know, because I get to hear her play the bass all the time. Because yes, I'm fancy like that. Yes. Um, I'm, uh, <laughs> Is is there like an, a special announcement or something about that? About the DJ or the bass? The bass. Oh, do you want to tell? Do you want to tell them? <laughs> is it a actually, special announcement? Sure. Shall we? Shall we announce? Name. Sure. Okay. Let, I, uh, let's start with your DJ name. My DJ name is Ultra Jet. DJ Ultra Jet. <laughs> Which was actually decided right over there. <laughs> In my dining room. In your dining room. At like one o'clock in the morning. Very late. (laughs) It was not a good time. I came up with some other really great suggestions that she totally didn't take. I denied. I I had (laughs) ultimate veto power on every decision on that one. (laughs) Thankfully. They were not good. They were not good. (laughs) It was late. (laughs) It was was the same night we came up with the hashtag. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> Seriously. No. Seriously. Same night. Nice. So worth it. <laughs> so worth it. So worth it. God. Okay, Greg. Yes. You get to talk now. <laughs> uh, no, she's sailing quite well. She's okay. Make it, make it well, quick. we... Well, I, I don't have a tag. I got nothing. You don't have a tag? No. I should have some sort of... 
Oh, oh, yeah. See, no. we just tag everything now. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if I do my whole thing like Seriously. this, this I is the just... hash. This are this is the in real life hashtag. Wow. This is the yeah. So can I just use it right everywhere I talk? That's why I'm speaking. Then I'll kind smack of, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> it will not be the fun, happy kind of smack. It will be like the oh, it, it, can be done, told you kind of smack. Oh, so smack down. Actually, I will probably just be like, hey, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> You're closer. Just hit him. <laughs> just Brian, hold on. I'm that. the I'm the muscle of the group. Oh, maybe a taser involved with it. Um, do you want to tell him the other thing? Because the other thing? thing's yeah, cool. and that group would be. Who are you playing bass with? <laughs> um, I am playing bass with Doctor Normal himself. <gasps> Yay! Yay uh, coming soon to a party to or, a Selwood uh, or farmers market <laughs> establishment something. or blues festival in the gorge or something near you. Something. We don't know. Something. Europe. Well, the important question is though, as a musician, does Doctor Normal sign body parts for fans? I'm just kind of curious. He may not, but I do. <laughs> Morgan, I've got some things for you to sign. <laughs> Dirty. Uh, after all these years and playing in a. a a hair metal band. I actually never signed up. Can you believe that? You've got to change that. We that's, did a lot of other things, so. <laughs> to body parts. Trust me. <laughs> I just think we didn't have time to sign. You know, baby, we've got a whole bag of uh, sharpies over there. If you that want was to funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The shitty room. I need you to promise me something. Uh, what's that? As my it's, friend. It's a love. Okay. Don't and let know, him do Mary his hair like he used to do his hair. <laughs> I don't think it's long enough. He could grow, he's been threatening to grow it out. I'll cut it. You just gotta make sure that does not happen. I have knives. I, I'll cut it. I can't I can't I can't be married to him if he does that. <laughs> It won't happen. Okay. Thank you. No, I don't use hairspray. I just you should see oh Charlie. See what his hair used to look like. And, and he was speaking, a pretty boy. Yeah. And speaking of uh, big hair, um, let's uh -oh. uh, talk to a PDX Advice Guy. Okay, PDX Advice Guy. <laughs> I'm aerodynamically sound, actually. It's That's shiny. Perfect. I'm telling you. A you turtle wax extra special. Well. Turtle mm -hmm. wax ex extra special. I, I got to bring it hard for the RPDX crew, but I got I to gotta, I gotta ask this. Uh, yes. Do you shampoo your scalp? Actually, I axed my scalp, so it's kind of like shampoo, but I got this chocolate thing going on now, uh -huh. so if anyone sniffs my head at some point, I'll smell like a chocolate bar. So you'll smell like a cookie? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And I brought cookies, too. Yes, he did. He brought cookies. Wasn't there so a conversation about axe right? earlier? <laughs> Someone Maybe. said something about axe. Oh. I was going to say, he gives a whole new definition to buff. <laughs> yeah, I go through the car wash on my own, actually. It's great. I just dig my head in. It's awesome. So what yes. made you guys want to write? Both of you, please answer on your own. <laughs> um, multiple choice is not an option. Damn. What made you guys want to write for our Newlyweds, which... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was the strangest place you've ever had sex? <laughs> I have to ask no, a real no, no, question, no, Dr. Normal. It just, it, it, with the cards, you just sort of look like the newlywed. <laughs> you gotta say, you got to say whoopee a lot. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was the word we had to say to get you drink? Oh, I forgot. It was it was some it was some pet name for men's genitalia. Oh, Majasha. Majasha, <laughs> drink. Yeah, I'm writing that one down. Share that with us, and so we've been drinking to every word. <laughs> okay, so what made you guys want to write for our video? Oh, seriously. Uh, let's see. I'd gone to end bloggersness and mm -hmm. pretty much talked over uh, half of Justin's presentation for the most part. Met you, met Michelle, the tall one actually. Um, and She'll I was actually later. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, the tall one. <laughs> I was actually doing? working on deviant advice, and I remember seeing your site actually. And I know she wrote for for it, so I checked RPX for a little bit, and I think I emailed you or tweeted you and asked you about it. And I thought, well, I'm pretty much a know-it-all smartass, and I've got one site going. Why not annoy PDX all in one fell swoop? Mm. And there he goes. So, and that's an email, and a few minutes later, she's like, "Well, I'm drunk. You seem like a nice <laughs> enough guy. What the hell? Bring it on!" And there you go. So I'm now suspending crappy advice to the entire area of Portland. And Morgan, why did you want to write for our PDX? Ah, uh, well, um, was there a bar bet involved? Or were you manipulated into it? Uh -oh. I I was not actually. Okay. I I kind of. We've got uh, pictures. I, no, I have pictures. 
Actually, in breast defense, I thought that was not going to come up. (laughs) Dude, everyone would have thought it was just like a snarky random comment. (laughs) (laughs) There's truth to comment. (laughs) If you had laughing, everyone would have thought it was just being me. Trouble for yourself. I'm good at that. Trouble for yourself. <laughs> I like trouble. Why did you want to be an RPDX author? Um, because I love Portland. I moved here. And dogs. Uh, and dogs. Um, but mostly because I really love this town, and um, I moved here about 19 years ago, and many things have tried to pull me away, but I always end up coming back. And uh, I like to write, and I love Portland, so I just wanted to share my love through uh, a blog. Aww. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very well. <What's> Josh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got water. I can't do this. <laughs> You'll be really well hydrated. Yes. yes. I will, actually, yes. <laughs> my drink is getting low. Um, so, where's the next time? It's a weekly... Bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. So when's the next time you're going to DJ? So I DJ as part of a group of DJs at Tonic every other Tuesday. Um, the next time is going to be this next week. Um, I DJ around 10 o'clock to about 11, and I usually play mostly electronic. Uh, I'm thinking of doing an 80s alternative mm. set next. There will be no Michael Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Aww. you for that. Because I he is not 80s alternative. <laughs> and he's dead. And he's yeah. dead. Oh! <laughs> you guys Uh-oh. are done. Played. <laughs> and and with he's that. dead. <laughs> with that. Oh, with that. Somber yeah. note. Aww. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys so much. <laughs> This is where I should be playing some music, but I did not. No, no, no. Who sits where, baby? Uh, Aaron there. Okay. Aaron there. Pageant here. Let me flip my cards. <laughs> Pretending you use cards. Pageant. Aaron. <laughs> nice to see you guys. No, really, that's not the way it works. This is pageant. This is Aaron. Is there a reason that um, there's waving occurring? Uh, Aaron could shift back just a hair. Thank you. You were blocking my shot. It was a shot block. What? With his <laughs> yeah, and that was a nice close-up right there. You should uh, actually tell the folks uh, that we're not in our usual studio. We're at an undisclosed location. And we are not something. in our subterranean lair this evening. We are at an undisclosed <laughs> location just above our subterranean lair. <laughs> Cause there are how did anyone take a head count? How many people are here this evening? Seven. Seven. Radio Gretchen <laughs> says seven. I trust her math. No, no, she needs fourteen. Twelve. She's assuming seven. Not including you. Twelve people, yeah. not including yeah, Doctor more than seven. I I'm an author too, so thirteen. Yeah. Is there boots? Boots? Fourteen so wizard includes, boots was that, here. That oh, that included wizard boots. Okay. And and the other thing is, last week we were at the top of the Hilton, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this place I is crap. <laughs> exactly. And, Where's my gorgeous view? And we were literally still unpacking from that gig. Doctor Normal unloaded the car from yeah. uh, the uh, Open Source Bridge Conference. On the road, so so we're doing live a, last night. So we're doing a remote from our <laughs> own studio. We're doing a remote from our living room. Yeah, from yeah. our own studio. But that's <laughs> not about pageant or Aaron. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough. I'm pretty sure it's been well established that this podcast is about you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yes. Occasionally, over occasionally we let it be about somebody else if I'm busy and I need to like have a lunch break or something. But Isn't since I don't need a lunch break this evening, because I've had dinner. Although I do have a pie. I'd you like to you thought eat. this podcast was about you? Is that like Carly Simon or something? And you're so vain. You probably think this podcast is about yeah. you. You're so vain. Oh, here's my microphone. I'm not allowed to sing. I mean, whatever, camera, microphone. I'm not allowed to sing. Rick Carosi says it's a no-no. So, gentlemen, what so is the weirdest now? place you've no, ever seriously. made whoopee? Are you telling me to get rid of my car? I made these for you. I 
made them for him, not for you. You are well, you're probably a very nice person, so I'm sorry. I you. Anyway, this is Pageant. Hello, Pageant. Howdy. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I introduced myself to you today, and then I realized I think I've already met you. A couple times. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fade into the background. It's, you shouldn't feel bad. You do. You have a tendency to be like, hello. That's <laughs> precisely it, yes. And Aaron, I don't know you. No, not at all. Okay. No, never, never seen you before. This is Aaron Hockney? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hockney with an E. Yes, Hockley with an E. I just was checking the spelling on the lower third, actually, as you mentioned that. I once misspelled, actually, in one of my very early uh, posts on RPDX, I misspelled Aaron's name. The Hockley part, not the Aaron yeah, part. Yeah. And Betsy, <laughs> Betsy had to send me a message telling me that, and I was like, how did I misspell Aaron's name? Not all of our names are as easy to spell as chaos, with a K. AOS. <laughs> I can't help it. I was born with an easy okay. name. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Pageant, what do you write about on our PDX? Uh, I, I sort of consider myself the resident curmudgeon. There's some competition. <laughs> um. <laughs> As he sits next uh. to Aaron Hawkwood. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Well, you know, we've divided up the territory. Uh -huh. He's the Vancouver curmudgeon. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I handle the downtown curmudgeon. That works very well, I think. So, yeah, things that things that <coughs> short me off, and mm -hmm. things that are happening in the part of downtown where I wander, mostly. What has most recently irritated you? <laughs> Aside from being made to wait on my Tell house. us about Red Bull. <laughs> um, Tell us about Red Bull today. Oh, oh I, I don't think I set the timer for I you I was going to say, aside from <laughs> Sam <laughs> Adams. I was so, okay, I'm setting the timer now because I was so fascinated. Okay, there uh, we go. I work in the vicinity of Pioneer Square. Mm -hmm. And so today we had... At Which is a very large vicinity. At the same time, we had people playing Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. sort of an impromptu homage. Yeah. The Red Bull Skateboard Tour mm -hmm. with the PA announcing mm -hmm. the fine tricks that were being done. Uh, their music, mm -hmm. which was a mix of rap and reggae, and a Native American drumming circle, all going at the same time. That's a lot of noise. It was a phenomenal amount of noise. And, it's, and it lasted... A good part of the day. I'm glad I don't walk downtown. And it's uh, it's Portland's living room. Yeah. It's a wonderful place, but it gets loud. Yeah. I like so how come you didn't post about this? Because I was trying to work. <laughs> He's been a little busy today. We made him go to beer and blog. Okay. <laughs> and All then right. we made him come here. Okay. All and right. then I think we made him drink something, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. This one's sure I didn't see your cup. Good, uh, good Bermuda rum. Right. It is, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Yes. All right. What do you post about Aaron Hockley? <laughs> <laughs> On RPDX, I post a lot of photos, most of which I didn't take, and have uh -huh. been contributed by our readers into our Flickr pool. <laughs> and uh, I also... Do you, do you have uh, the proper authority to do that? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I just wanted to make sure. When they contribute to the pool, there's a little rules thing they have to accept saying they understand we can use their photos on the site. Okay. Um, and I also... Some people are touchy about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I also piss off Blogtown, apparently. Yeah. That's what else I do. So uh, what do you do with your five zillion... And that, too. Yeah, what do you do with your other five zillion projects? My other five zillion projects? Well... That's so, a number, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, so there's my tech blog and my photography site for my business, which has a blog, and socialphototalk.com, which I just launched. Which it's is your about, new baby. Yeah, it's the new baby. Um, and then I may or may not have started trying to learn Rails programming yesterday just oh. for the heck of it. Because you like train porn, and Rails is a train Exactly, porn, right? yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is your it, wife it gonna starts kill with you the soon? Mac, right? Mac, and now you're doing Rails. And yeah. Well, I haven't even begun to lay well, begun it, to lay into him. You know, the, the, the Mac is, is is the gateway drug to learning Rails programming, <laughs> my friend. So just so you know, there's a lot of Linux people that would probably dispute that. Well, I know. And aren't you doing Ruby on Rails? Yes. Did this uh did, was this like bred by the open like, source bridge Rails. conference? Like not directly. Like there. <laughs> not directly, but I'm sure the fact that I'm still working through editing the 1400 photos I took at Open Source Bridge <laughs> may have something to do with it. 1400 so. was the final tally. Yeah. 
About fourteen hundred. Wow. And, and when you're done with that, I've got some video you could edit too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just in your spare time. So. So what won't you take pictures of? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. I, I know what he will. Take I don't know exactly of. where that line was, but one of. The photos that I took for a calendar project was a little awkward. <laughs> he wasn't even talking about the photo he took of me, okay? It wasn't the photo I took of you. It was one of the other photos I took for the calendar project. It, it, so that it's was not the, the one that Chris Perillo objected to, was no. it? No. <laughs> I must have missed that. It involved nudity and Star, Star Wars, Wars characters. Del- I think it tainted. Chris didn't his, like that? I think it tainted Chris was his childhood visions of Star Wars and women. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. No. I know. I know the photo of which you speak. That was the line you thought you wouldn't cross. I. It, it was awkward. It was a line you didn't. It did never occur to you, maybe. Yeah, that really wasn't something. I'm gonna go out and take these kind of photos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need to go look at that damn calendar again. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll show you which which. It, it wasn't. Later. It wasn't that uh, yeah. chick uh, yeah. in her uh, kitchen with the with cookies. The pie. With the pie. With the pie. I wish. I wish uh, someone who knew where the calendar was could go get it so the we could view the beautiful photos that Aaron Hockley had taken for the get naked for a cause calendar. I'll show it to you later. I'll get it. People could go buy a calendar. They could. If they I, really I think see that the they should. What's where, the where? do something for a cause dot com? Yeah, I think so. I think that's yeah. The site. So. Yeah, and they should go buy it. And if you buy a calendar and you happen to run into me, ask me to sign it, and I will. Ask Media Chick to sign it, and she will. Ask uh, Aaron Hockley to sign it, and he will, because I you, said so. T- Tara <laughs> Hunt has <laughs> one. Tara Maybe. Hunt does have one. Yes. Yeah, so. You can ask Dr. Normal to sign where he's in the calendar he as well. Can. He can sign body parts in the calendar. That's <laughs> true. He can. But well, he I'm, I'm just on. covering my full nudity in the calendar. <laughs> exactly, yeah. He's quite dressed. He's... <laughs> Yeah. He's Somebody's the most dressed be. person in the entire calendar, yes. by yes. far. I'm a contrarian, He's right? More Someone's got to be cartoons. clothed and to get naked for a cause. Yeah, Come the, on. Yeah. And besides, nobody wants to see that. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, gentlemen, where is the strangest place you've ever made Whoopi? <laughs> Let me talk about Flotsam. 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 What about Jetsam? I keep showing these to Dr. Normal, and he doesn't care. He's like... This is why uh, Brian uh, put the camera one, camera two, camera three did, last week on Bridge. He did, because then I always knew what I was supposed to be looking at. Tell us about Flotsam pageant. Uh, Flotsam is uh, a little blog that I have that's a sub, sub-blog of my main blog, which is pageantsprogress.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 a while ago, I decided to... Um, split off non-original content Mm -hmm. that I was putting in my blog. I was putting in my writing, but also uh, things that I found online, things that amused me, Mm -hmm. that I wanted to share. Uh, And I decided to have a separate blog for non-original content. So that's Flotsam. And uh, you can get to it via a sidebar in the main blog. And it's it's really just whatever appeals to me. Mm -hmm. Um, it, It tends to lean heavily toward animation and odd humor but uh, uh, that's Flotsam and then I have another sub blog called Non-Obvious that I use to publish uh, a comic strip that I do using the tool set available at bitstrips.com which is a phenomenal resource what is it bitstrips? bitstrips.com bitstrips. and they have an online flash based uh, comic editor Mm-hmm. That's really intuitive. Has a lot of tools, a lot of flexibility. You can do a lot with expressions and posing. You can design very detailed custom characters, uh, and Betsy likes it. I like it, <laughs> <laughs> and Betsy likes it, so it must be good. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to our moment of very uncomfortable <laughs> silence? <laughs> moment of silence. <laughs> uh, you can also find me on Twitter. On um, what? Pageant on pageant. Twitter. I'm pageant just about everywhere that I have a presence, uh, and also on Blip FM. And Blip FM. Yeah, which is, is that the site where you get to make your own make, mixes? You get to yeah post your own songs and make playlists and share music. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Where do we find you, Mr. Hockley? Everywhere. I'm even on Facebook, and that's just sad. Do you have a sad. custom? Do you have a custom <laughs> Facebook? Uh, yeah, it's. You've got a custom Facebook. 
a Hockley, the same as everywhere else. You I, said you weren't going to do it. I'm really... I wanted to get Chris Messina. I wanted to get Facebook.com slash Chris Messina, but some guy already had it, so... Yeah, he, uh, I was afraid you were going to get mine, so I was, like, sitting there at the moment. <laughs> Rick and I were really working hard to try and get that, but... I know. Yeah. I'm very so, important. I'm thinking about replacing my Facebook <laughs> profile with just the text of, please go find me on the real internet, but... <laughs> <laughs> but then how would I poke you and send you uh, um, plants and zoo animals and little fishies? <laughs> Is Facebook like the new AOL? God, the joy. It is the new It is. Seriously, it's it's like AOL all over again. The, the joys of Facebook, yeah. Right. If, if you use the uh, iPhone app, you know, you don't get all that crap. You know, you actually get messages and stuff. Not that anything is going on there in Facebook other than fishies and shit. But, you know. Farms. And poking. Yeah. Farms might... A lot of my wife's friends are having farms now. Oh, that's nice. On Facebook. Mm -hmm. Love it. Right. All right, I think, I think it's time to kick the boys off the couch. I'm going to see if I can get someone to put ice and, and a fresh beverage in this. And then, hey, pretty lady. Ice on my couch. Can you hand that to Morgan? Thank you so much. It was a delight to have both of you on. Yeah, I... I we were scrambling no. here, so we didn't have any. Where's media chick? My couch is empty. Yeah. I'm sorry. When I made the pretty lady face at media chick, it was because I wanted her on the couch, right. not just because I wanted to ogle her. I was going to say that we we were scrambling here, so um, we didn't get our music set up in time, so we're just kind of like screwing around. So Yeah, we were just messing around. There was no actual work. You don't we do a cappella. She's going you know, to Michael me. Jackson tunes or something with the R three D X folks or something. I don't know. Or uh, Jeff Goldblum tunes, right? Because I believe he's passed Does recently. He have a band? Where did he die? I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't resist the cheap joke. I, did you know I have a guest now? Uh, in theory. <laughs> her her oh, wait, it's just me. <laughs> just a moment. I'm her, her lower third is here. Yeah, just yeah, go for it. Bring it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's just one big party. So I realize that we don't have um, we don't have um, drink music, but could we do? Yeah. I, could we I, do the drink? Yeah. In order to celebrate the one year you know anniversary. I'll, I'll tell you what. Let me see if I can find some drink music or something while you interview. Maybe we can do it at the end. Okay, we'll do it at the end. There's so. just some threat to dive into the bosom of my beautiful friend here. Let me, I'm gonna go grab my iPhone it's and play in the bosom. drink music. Okay. Okay, have fun, dear. Okay, um, go. Mm. What, uh, so, media check, what is the craziest place you've ever made Whoopi? <laughs> go. We need to get him to stop that one. I'm not, no comment. Yeah, I, I actually think I may have answered that on an on a episode of Strange of Life once, but. <laughs> like the Camp Naughty, I think yeah, I, I answered think, that question. I think, I think that's true. I think when we did Camp Naughty, we answered the naughtiest. I do Oh, and your it. teenage son was in the I know, chat and room. I know, he's in the chat room tonight also. So we're not going to embarrass you. I've met him. He's I don't, very sweet. I don't, I don't really mind embarrassing him. No, you don't. No, he's I did. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> well, he's not my son, right, so I'm right, allowed to right. think he's nice. Uh, <laughs> I should just ask if people were watching this. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love <laughs> she needs to come I back love again. Gretchen too. I think she was worried. I think she needs to come back again because I think yeah, that, that her talk. I think it went splendidly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why do you write for RPDX? Because Betsy asked me to. Why did you want to write for RPDX? Because oh, you, you don't have enough well, places because to Bets write. Well, because I know I have a lot of places that I write. Yeah. Um, but really because Betsy asked me to, and I really respected her, and she has a lot of clout. And she was able to bring a lot of people that I uh, respect yeah. together. And hell yeah, I wanted to be a part of that. Good to know. Yay, baby. Yeah. yeah. I, could, I could do better with the frequency of my posts. But when I do write... Wow. I, 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 I try to cram it all in there. When you do, you do not phone it in. I don't phone it in. When you do write, what do you write about? 
Uh, well, I'm just another Portland girl, so it, it would be about Portland um, gardening, baking, baking, um, you baking. know, all the regular sweet, Portland sweet girl baking. stuff. Yes. Are you gonna wait? I wait till Dr. Norma leaves the room. Are you gonna Are you gonna submit something to the pie off this year? Hell yeah! Yes, I'm gonna bring it this year. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, last last year was a, was. Uh, it was an experiment. Yeah. I, I had planned to do um, hand pies, so mm -hmm. uh, like... Uh, Not pies with hands in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, but mm, um, little apple pies, like, you know, picnic pies, so yeah. self-contained pies. But the night before, I, I decided that that wasn't enough. So I, I made a chocolate macadamia nut pie. Mm -hmm. And it was it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. And I uh, I was glad though to lose to the people that won because amazing. Amazing. It was amazing turnout. There were so many people there. I was astounded by how many people showed up. I think he's coming back. We should talk about something that's not pie. <laughs> okay. Uh, quick. Think about something. What are we talking about? Oh, you also do lots of stuff with beer and vlogs. I do! <laughs> I do, I do. Uh, I've been uh, working with your beer and vlog for the last year. Mm -hmm. um, I first went in May of 2008, and I was the only girl. They were... Um, That's shameful. I know it. Well, it, I know it. It, it was so uh, unusual. The there were about there, 10, 10 guys <laughs> and some laptops, mm -hmm. and they were, you know, actually working. On things? On things during, you know, the four to six um, <laughs> hour. Yeah. And that was really weird. Yeah. Um, so I sat down, and everyone continued to work, and, and uh, I guess they started talking to me, and I showed up again the next week, and people started uh, coming, and uh, I blogged about the beer and blog on uh, my personal blog about um, all the people that I had met yeah. and how cool it was and how I was really inspired and after kissing Justin's ass for a while I was invited to participate in um, in it and did now you kiss I'm his ass or did you just find tequila because that works what kind of it was <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually put my lips up against his buttocks <laughs> Technically, so it was an air kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <it> was. Oh! <laughs> no, but I uh, and it was another opportunity no. where you know, with like Betsy, who I met at a beer blog, it was mm -hmm. it was another one of those uh, chance meetings where I I knew right away that it was something that I needed to uh, make time mm -hmm. to do. So I did it. So now I'm writing with the beer blog and it's been wildly successful and yeah. I've got a lot of power. And we should give a big shout out to beer and blog because beer and blog hosted the RPDX one year anniversary party yes. earlier this yeah. evening. They did Woo. proudly, 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 proudly. joyously. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. So, thank you beer and blog. Ow. So is my time up yet? No. Do you want to run away? Okay. Because you can. Because I forgot to set your timer, so I actually have no idea how long you've been here. Oh. This is, this is actually the first time she sat in the couch. Well, it's not I even believe. the real couch. Oh, no. It was the other. Yeah, when you answered that uncomfortable question. The uncomfortable. Question, right? Yeah. It wasn't was the most. Un no. Sh we did not answer the most uncomfortable. I think you said the oddest. Was it the she? most comfortable? Uncomfortable place I've made whoopee. <laughs> Why do I get like, What's the I most uncomfortable place? Wait, 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 wait. I've got this. I've got this. I was just going to say, what? write the question what? yourself and then Whoop. answer it. Where's the most uncomfortable place you've ever posted a blog? <laughs> is, is this tied to the last question? Uh, no, we're going to do that and then we're going to do the drink episode. Posted a blog? You, you mean uh, at, a, at a URL? See, I'm not there Written to watch the door, post. to I know. watch the chill child. 
And the, the drink maker is over here slacking on kid duty because <laughs> she's all like. Uh, we, we should say that we put most guests of Strange Love Love to work. And the yes. more times they've been in our home, the more likely we are to put them to work. And Morgan and it's Media true. Chick are I think, on, I think the on kid just kid went and control. got a tiki drink. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> left. We need to have a picture of tiki drinks. Yeah. Please. Yeah. So Dr. Nicole should not joke about that. To answer your question, Cammy Chaos. Yes. <laughs> Media Chick. Please. Um, <laughs> um, I've never written anything anywhere that I've been that's been uncomfortable. Wow, I I've written in some pretty uncomfortable. I don't before. subscribe to the the idea that you have to produce a lot of content all the time. Mm-hmm. If I don't have something to say, you only produce gold. Well, let's not go that far. But thank you, thank you. I, I just, it just has to be substantial, and, and, and if I don't feel comfortable, then it doesn't get posted. All right. I think before we let you go, because yeah. I can tell that you want to run no. away now, we're Woo! going to have a... I have time. one more thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Speaking of writing and the lovely media chick... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, another announcement. Oh, Dr. Normal some more. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I hear you wrote... Um, some stuff for a uh, upcoming CD that's like about six months late, but <laughs> will be coming out soon. This um, whole RPDX authors episode that's really right. about getting people that do music stuff with Doctor Normal yeah. on the show. So you were you were you wrote some uh, lovely notes on yeah, the I did. upcoming CD, of which, as you've been hearing, the new drink music is. Uh, Part of that upcoming I'm so CD. excited. So when are we going to get to see it? Uh, very soon. Very ah, oh, very soon. What is He's that? Been no, saying no. that for weeks. Ages. I know. I mean, I'm I'm excited. Oh, you you know what? Yeah. Kemi Chaos has to finish the graphics layout. So oh, he to put it fair, back on you. To be fair, the uh, music's yeah, yeah, yeah. not done yet. No, the music is done. Snap. Oh. No, it's totally mastered. I'm done. <laughs> We're waiting on your graphics. Okay, well, I'll fix the thing that needs to be fixed. We all know I don't want to fix it. We'll tell it, that, Cam. Well, this, this is really <laughs> exciting. This is the first time I've written <laughs> liner notes for a CD. And, and they were They excellent. were wonderful. They, they were, were awesome. Yes, they were wonderful. Yeah. All right, before were. you go, we're going to do the drink. Play the Roll the drink music oh, off okay. the new album. Okay, hang on. Talk amongst yourselves. Do we need to cue the mic? The mic over here? I have no idea. Okay. We're all drinking the same thing, though, right? <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing we're going to be on the air. Sorry. I'm just like grabbing my skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> we should be talking or something to fill the time. Mm-hmm. You look lovely this evening. So do you. Nice rack. <laughs> nice rack. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. hair. Yeah, nice you. boots. I washed it. Mm, nice boots. It's true. You look lovely. I oh yeah yeah yeah. That was Aaron Hockley saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boys. <sighs> boys, boys, boys. Who would have thought that Aaron Hockley wearing Crocs would be such a big shoe fan? <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's wearing Crocs, what else? You know, is he gonna you know gonna be into shoes, right? Can, I mean, those can are I just say something? Can I just say something here? Can I just say something here? That's what they tell me. Hello. Can I can I just Did you butt want to in? Talk? <laughs> oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say, drink music uh, intro on the right channel only, featured by Monster Cable. Thank you very much. Jen, yeah, nobody gets that, that awesome. right? <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. It's yeah. a yeah. tough crowd here. Monster Cables. Yeah, yeah. You can get those it's same cables on Amazon for two dollars and forty. It was what was at the iPhone <laughs> store. <laughs> Good so are you playing the drink music right now? I need this special cable. Uh-huh. I know. Yeah. Is the drink music playing? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, it, go. Yeah. Tonight, guests of Strange Love Live, our PDX anniversary show, are drinking <laughs> Cammy's big old tiki drinking cups. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! <laughs> um, it has some juice. <laughs> and then it has a whole bunch of rum. And I wish, do we have a, a camera that can run around? Because I wish that someone could pick up that camera. And we're we're going to do that at the end. Oh, okay. We're going to do that at the very because end. Because maybe oh, okay. at the end we will take the camera in yeah. and you can see the big uh, display of rum bottles. Yeah, we're going to do that at the very end right as we now. play out a, tonight. Everybody should put all their iPhones in the middle of the floor. <laughs> and we should swap? <laughs> we should step on there. No! No! An iPhone party! <laughs> Why would we 
step on the iPhone? Because they're evil. <laughs> they're not evil. I do know someone here that might want to get hold of my iPhone, but it's not going to happen. All right, you may go. I may go. Yay! Yeah. Everyone, thank Media Chick for being thank lovely you. and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I've only got two of you left. If you haven't been on the couch yet, you better get up here. Yay. Luckily, it's the conga solo. Oh, yes, conga solo. Excellent music. walking music. Music. And I just want to point out, Bob Bourbon, it keeps our PDS moving. I haven't been drinking. Yes, no, you are the designated driver. Take care of everybody. Yeah, baby. I didn't uh, realize that my feet would be showing or I would have worn cute shoes. I'm not so. sure they are. Are they well, showing? I, I saw feet early. I was like, oh. oh. Did you? I did. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I, you, your toenails are excellent. Um, you know, I love my pedicure place. Yeah. 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 It's important. It is important. It's very important. Are we? Do we still have tiki music going? I don't I just know. Can't it's hear kind, it. kind of trying to. It's kind of strange to not have the headphones. I, I just killed the tiki music. Oh. Oh. All right. So I should introduce. We'll, we'll, we'll have my yes. yes. I made you Dr. Norman was so not very sure organized exactly tonight. Exactly what you wanted to be. Okay. Yeah. You need to flip the picture. I'm Cosmic Charlie. Yeah. Hi. I'm excited about meeting Cosmic Charlie. Because I've always wanted to meet Cosmic Teresa, Charlie, and then I Cosmic learned. Charlie, Cosmic Charlie. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Teresa, I've DJ been in your TV. bar, but I didn't know that. Um, I didn't drink, if that helps. I would like to know, by a show of hands, who has not been to Thatch? Yeah. Yeah. Notice that there are no hands in the room. You've never what? been to Thatch? The tiki bar? I'm going to disown it. Can I fire you? <laughs> I, I do have to say that you can blame Yellow Freight. Because I was going to bring you a tiki mug tonight. I know you were. Did you get to see? Now they're spread out, but did you get to see I've my collection? I've seen the collection. It's Some of the ones that we don't like people touching are still in the cabinet. I'm going to have to go see those later. Yeah, yeah you're going to have to. So, uh, Teresa, DJ TV, Thatch, provided the cake. Cake! Yay. That was Who doesn't episode. love cake? The RPX beer and blog. Betsy sent a tweet around saying that she needed a sponsor for cake, and I'm like, everybody loves cake. Mm -hmm. They also sponsored the little umbrellas and cherries and, and cherries. Uh, pineapples. Thanks and, to the and wonderful the monkeys. I don't think the monkeys actually even got in the drinks. Well, all Just I have to staff. say is thank you to the lovely staff at Thatch who made the who, paints. Who sticky. made them? Who? Yes. Which? Which? Yes. Um, which? Lovely I believe staff. Zorn. Lovingly made every little umbrella for me. Thank last you. Night. Thank you, Zorn. He's happily shaking drinks tonight. Okay. Okay, we're so, gonna let Charlie talk. Okay, Charlie, why do you, why did you want to write for RPDX? Well, it was an opportunity that I couldn't resist. Um, I just I originally started writing emails and sending them around to my friends, and everyone says, "Oh, you should have a blog," and I'm like, "Eh, it's too much responsibility." <laughs> and I watched, uh, you yeah, well. know. And I hung out with Betsy a lot, and what I used to do was just write my own stuff and then send it around in an email to like 10 or 12 friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. and like a little uh, easy? You know, just, yeah, I could say what I want. I knew who was reading it. If they yeah. forwarded it to other people, and I ended up running into a couple of relatives that way and stuff, and you know, I did a little small stuff on my own. Did you want to run into the relatives, or was it purely accidental? It's all turned out to be good. Okay. Yeah. The ones that... You know, I have relatives I'd rather not run into. Oh, me too. Yeah, me and too. You but know, if but those you're are the listening ones I'm to this about. show, you're not the relatives that <laughs> right. we'd rather not run into. No. True. If you're listening, we love you. The relatives I'm avoiding are hillbillies. They wouldn't even know what we're doing. <laughs> 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 you can choose your friends. You can't always Stands choose your relatives. internet access. Yeah. I, you know, they joke about Estacada. I know people who have lived there. <laughs> <laughs> I have spent time has, there. Has anybody been to the bar with the stuffed animals? Oh, yes. The Safari Club. Yes. yes I this is awesome. Yes. I have been well, there. Sort of awesome. Speak, speaking is a true caco. Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> After, uh, do they still do the uh, Estacada rock pile I, I shoot know. and oh, then uh, end up in the uh, safari room? I know nothing. Okay. She's hmm. what? I know what they that you speak of? I know. I. Okay. They make movies out there a lot. Yeah. Uh, there was a movie called Me Mean Creek that had one of the Culkins in it where. Uh, they went to all of the little... Some random Culkin. Yeah, one of the Culkins. A Culkin cried in that movie. <laughs> that was good. Oh. And, yeah, it was I'm sad. But, yeah, it was a bunch of bullies who take a kid out into the woods and beat the crap out of him and 
Wait, forget. did the Culkin get, get his? I think the Culkin, the reason he cried was because it might have been one of his friends and he felt bad. I don't um, remember. But we was were, he one of the bullies? We were busy pointing to all the bars that we'd been to and all of the gas stations we'd hung out in front of and like all yeah. the cool spots behind the high school and stuff like that. So. That's what I do anytime I see a movie that is filmed somewhere that I have lived. Yeah. The, the coolest movie story I had from there involved the Kennedy School. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and a couple of friends, this was during a drinking night, we got mm-hmm. really hammered and was going to go see Bad Santa at the Kennedy School. Mm-hmm. Perfect movie, right? Get up there, sit down, and all of a sudden we realize we're watching Gus Van Sant's Elephant. This is like at 11 o'clock at night in the Kennedy School. There's nobody but us in there. And these kids are going through shooting everybody and whatnot. And then we go out and get into the car and start driving around and realize we're on the same street that was in the movie because it's right around the corner. So we're going down. It was just way too surreal. Bad Santa probably. Paranoia set in? Nah. No? It was just like, wow, thank God we lived through that. Let's go drink some more. No, the drink's more. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, moment. Absolutely. I'm Sam's Tiki Drink. I don't know how that happened. We can have some whiskey. I watched you sit hothead over there, and I was like, what, are you what is she doing? I don't know. Yeah, she, she refused to bring the glass on because it's like, I guess it's a little. Oh, no. oh I, I actually didn't think about that. But well, you know, you should have seen her giggling over there when they handed it to I you. And they're know. like, oh, he rubbed the head. Okay, <laughs> well, let's just explain the joke. Oh, I've never thought yeah, about that. Yeah, here, let's get this going there, break, see? Let's just explain the joke the fact that um, I arrived late, so I got the penis cup. <laughs> I never thought it's about hot. His name is Hothead. <laughs> And I never thought about him that oh, way. Oh, really? No, no I don't think so. When we thought of immediately, Gretchen I don't think the first, the first thing out of my head is always the dirty thought. And I've never, ever viewed him that way. And now I'm always going to. Sorry, I, I, we've ruined the tiki mug for you. I find it odd that I'd never thought of that before. And he's one of my favorites. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, this here is one of Dr. Normals. There are three brothers. There's Hothead, Dry Moe, and Flame Manchu, and they're brother mugs. I want to see the right. baby eater. That's what I keep hearing. There's about. a picture. There is a picture out there. So I'm very excited about the baby eater. I'm excited we have about the baby three, eater. Thank you to Tiki Farm. Mm-hmm. Tiki Farm. Tiki Farm. Made these as well. They made these Not as for well. Us, but um, I do want to, before you go further, yeah. I want to show you something really special. <gasps> so, yeah, yeah. This is Grog, and he is... Probably one of my favorites. And then he has a smaller brother about this tall and wider named Goon. Um, Goon has a bottom. Grog does not. And then I have this. And this little guy's name is Gulp. And Gulp is very, very special, not just because he's the littlest brother of the Goon Grog Gulp series, but because he's one of 34... (gasps) From Mugs that has Tiki Bar TV logo on it. Oh my gosh! Tiki Bar yeah. TV. I was so excited when I saw it. I was like, yeah, I'm probably getting my credit card number stolen right now, but I want it anyway. Well, who so, doesn't love Tiki Bar TV? I didn't get my, I didn't get my credit card stolen. And maybe today. maybe that's why Dr. Tiki uh, agreed to uh, do an intro for sure. us as well. I'm sure he knew that I had one of 34 limited edition. Maybe he did. Maybe he checked the list and <laughs> was like, oh, Cammy Chaos, Dr. <laughs> yeah. Noel. She's a true mug aficionado. She's a true Tiki my... Bar TV fan. Yeah, so. I, hit, I hit him over here so that I could show everyone. You had the Tiki Bar TV people over? No. Yeah, and I was just going to say, oh, no. which, by the way, Jeff, if you're, uh, <laughs> you know, you're in Portland, you're, you're in Portland, it's on your ABC, you're more than welcome to come on the show. Episode. For the after hours. We'd show. love to have you. <laughs> okay, so now tell us about the baby eater and about Wednesday night. So Wednesday night, well... So I do have some Tiki aficionados have been emailing me and said, exactly what time will you start selling the mugs? Because mm-hmm. we want to be in the first 50, and I'll just say, they're not numbered. There's no rush. It's not like this. It's not very, it's not, you know. But um, we have three baby eaters on the back that came from the jasmine tree. Everybody loves the jasmine tree. The mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Dearly the departed jasmine, jasmine tree. tree. Um, and they're the old place Marquesan. I play the gig here, too. At the jasmine Pardon? tree. I played a gig or two at the jasmine tree. Well, I was trying to day. talk you into playing a gig. I know. Again. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. That's <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, anyway, we made, we're going to make three, but this is the first one, and he's sitting on the baby, and then he's eating the baby, and then he's has eaten the baby, so he's full, but this is the first one. This is the one where he's sitting on the baby. Yes. And you can see a picture of it on the um, Thatch Tiki Bar Facebook, Facebook page. page. Because we don't have a website yet, and we're not talking about. No, that. I'm not. I wasn't even going to ask. It was not even going to bring that up. At I'm all. Ashamed. I'm. Not, I know. I'm just. I'm not mentioning it. 
So back to Charlie. Um, no, wait. Where can we find you guys? No, no. So Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday doors night. Open any, at four. In, doors open at four. Come by any time. Entertainment will start at some point. Mm-hmm. We were going to have a costume contest. All this is to be D, TBD. At some point it will well, happen. Well, here's the deal. We're, we're sort of like throwing this together in case you couldn't tell since um, the mugs haven't quite arrived yet. They'll be here. Thank you, Yellow Freight. <laughs> at some point they'll be here. <laughs> they, Please, everybody needs to pray mug. to the Yellow Freight gods that they show up. The baby eater is in the mail. That's in the mail. <laughs> On a pallet, apparently. <laughs> Um, and how many baby eaters have are on the way? Well, we have 200 coming. 200 baby eaters on the way. There will be more. Dr. Normal, I need a baby eater. Just FYI. I'm going to be adding <laughs> to our family of Tiki. All right. As long as everyone's all good about that. So, party starts at, well, doors open at 4. four. Which is when you People can, start can come by any time. Come by whenever. What time do you guys usually close? Late-ish. Late-ish. Midnight. Around closing time. When Close people are done, when people are done, when the last table full of people who are drinking way too, too many giant bowls of drinks, we won't talk. About don't that. have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't work here, you sleep with go somebody home. who works here. <laughs> it's time to go. Just out with you. So can you work that out on Wednesday night or uh, <laughs> talk fast? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I know at least three authors will be there. Yay. Yay. If that's at all a draw for you people, if you want to see RPX authors. <laughs> obviously, you've stayed with us this long. <laughs> You're obviously a glutton for punishment. If you'd like come more for the punishment, authors, stay for the baby eaters. Come and join us Wednesday night at Thatch sometime in the evening when there will be people there buying Anytime. baby eaters and drinking. What's the special drink that's going to be in the baby eaters? Can I not know? Oh, you can know. <laughs> Do you, have you ever heard of a swizzle stick? Um, I have not heard of the drink, the Swizzle Stick. Please. There is a drink called the Swizzle Stick, mm-hmm. which they have modified. Okay. And I don't remember exactly what's in it. What kind of a drink is the Swizzle There's Stick? There's 151, mm-hmm. maybe some Goslings, mm-hmm. some pineapple, mm-hmm. some bitters. Mm-hmm. It's That's good. all I know. So, special drink. Do you get to drink out of your baby eater that night? You do. Very nice. All right. So, this is my next question. Um, I don't like tiki, so this is hard for me to to keep thinking of questions. But, are you going to be serving drinks in the baby eaters in the bar that aren't sold? Yes, so you can either have just the drink, you can take one away, or you can have the drink and take one away. How are you going to deter a-hole thieves from... Um, You know, mug thieves are the bane of my existence. Yeah. Assholes. Do, can, can we say that yes, in after hours? After hours. I'm sorry. sorry. Uh oh, there we go. Okay, and Charlie didn't get to talk enough. Let's ask Charlie to talk a little bit more. So, if you are an asshole mug thief, stay away from Thatch. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> I'll scare him off for you. Thanks. I'm used to that. I'm just gonna have you stand at the bar and check purses. Okay, that. Hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You know, you, you just pay a deposit, and then if you return the mug... Oh, you get it back. You get it back. Take the I, ID. I love that idea. Take the ID. I think that's you awesome. You know, there, there is a bar a that idea. actually takes, like, one shoe. In South Florida, they take one shoe. I like shoe. the pay. And then, and then and if then you like the mug, you just walk out with it, and you just, keep You don't my need deposit. a shoe, yeah. apparently. No, no, no. Take <laughs> the money. The money. Money's worth more than the shoe. <laughs> okay. It depends, it depends on what part of Florida. <laughs> Yeah, maybe she's got some Jimmy Choo's. No. (laughs) (laughs) But you know, I'll be honest. If if you know, if I stand up, is it going to mess up the camera? Because I'll. This is what. This is how I look standing on the shoe foot. Well, no, yeah. This is how I look on the. You know. No, no, no. no, That just gives you attitude when you stand with one. This is me four inches taller. We're all upside down. Standing on one foot in four inch heels. I don't advise this. Please don't try that at home. It's not a good idea. So, Cosmic okay. Charlie. Yeah, we need to go back to Cosmic Charlie. Craziest place you've ever made whoopee. <laughs> on the floating dock of the Willamette River during a fireworks uh, display he knew you on were my ask birthday. Him. Yeah, he nice. knew you were going to ask him. Oh, nice. Somebody well done. answered the question for <laughs> Somebody answered Dr. Normal's question. I think it was 1985. <laughs> you got a date for us? It was my birthday. <laughs> and and was it good for you? It was it was cool. 
It right. was really weird coming back up the stairs, though, and seeing 8,000 people going, Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you done a good job. You done a very good job. They weren't clapping for you. They were clapping <laughs> for the... Uh, oh. Dr. Google, right. you're a cruel that, that, man. As, as, as we like to say, you are the, not nice. the golden shower, which is the one of the pyrotechnics <laughs> favorite, we get uh, every year. It's our favorite year. firework that you can get. It's and I have to explain shower. to my kid, don't you know, that's ever a nice say golden that shower, term. isn't it? <laughs> that's literally called the golden shower. All right. But Hockley's smiling. He's, All right. Uh, Hockley smiles at everything. It's, it's a firework <laughs> from China. It's easy to make you happy. It's all I've seen. No one's gone Wait. to China to say, let's not call it a golden shower. Let's call it something else. All right. I'm going to wrap things up here. There's way too much on misbehavior that note, going on. There's laughing. There's crying. There's tiki drinking. Thank you all for joining cried. us. We left the couch. Yeah, thank you for joining us on Strange of Live for the one-year anniversary of our PDX network. RPDX.com. RPDX on Twitter. RPDX. Live, live, um, RPDX on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Really? She's even on LinkedIn for the live. RPDX, oh, RPDX, oh, on LinkedIn. It, go, just search RPDX I'm and you'll find us. Busy. Search for oh, Mojitos busy. and you'll find yeah. Betsy. Mojito Fairy, that's me. The Mojito, oh, yes, and we've got now the Mojito Fairy on Twitter as well. Thank you so Mojitos, much for joining tea, tea us. Mojitos, drinks, nobody drinks that. No, no, there is no. It's a temperate lot we are. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Next week we're um, off. Dr. Normal will have something special uh, for you, though, in yeah, theory. Just, uh, something. Uh, kill some time. Uh, and then the week after that, we're very, very happy. <laughs> we're going to be joined by Tyler Sticka. And the week after that, we're going to have Jason Grigsby. What well, baby? Have I killed enough time yet? We're no. going to return to our nerd roots. I've not had geeks. <laughs> Like, you guys are all geeky enough, but I'm used to having, like, someone on with a big geek project to talk to. Uh, you She's know, here, 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 Michael Jackson let, let me, let me, let me just, so I'll, I'll just break in. <laughs> Dr. Normal queued up the wrong end roll, oh. so that's why you're killing time. It's my fault. Yeah. end roll. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So the strangest place I almost must almost <laughs> oh, oh, oh. place that I've ever written a blog post. You guys thought I was gonna. Oh, you were yeah. gonna answer the question. I answered that question on a much previous episode of Strange Love Live, and to be frank, I can't remember what I answered. <laughs> so now that it's on the internet, you can't say it. So now okay. I'm like, I, like which one did I pick? Because <laughs> it would be giving away more information <laughs> than yeah, you wanted. Yeah, you want that on a yeah. future episode. So I need to uh, I need to go watch that episode before I try to answer, answer the question. question. I'm sure we all understand that one. Well, because it's on my the parents are so proud. Are you ready yet, Doctor? Yeah, you don't have to kill time. We're rolling oh, the. the I oh. Everybody, say good night. Thank you so much, all of you, for joining us. Thank you.